Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to discuss using ChatGPT to turn a normal image into a geometric pattern that we can laser cut. So we start over on ChatGPT and we enter a prompt. You can pause the video to see what I've wrote there, but it's a pretty basic um, prompt and we'll see what ChatGPT comes back with. So we need to upload the image obviously of the the piece that we're working with, so we just click the plus button and then select the file that we want, wait till it's uploaded and then press that black arrow and then ChatGPT will come back. Sometimes just start making the image or they will ask further questions. So again you can pause the screen to see what it's saying, um, but it's asked me a, a load of different questions there, so I'll go ahead and answer it. Um, I just try, try to chat to it like it would be a person, like you're talking to another designer for instance. Um, I find it works the best when you use that sort of language style. So again you can pause the screen to see what I wrote back there and then it just gets started. So it does take a wee while so I've cut out a massive chunk of that and you can see what it's produced. So it's quite a cool wee idea, um, I do like the, the deer that it's produced there. It's more of a stained glass effect and it is a geometric pa pattern but it's still really cool. So I thought I'd see if it could thicken it up a bit, it didn't really understand that and it came back with pretty much the same as before you can see the two are pretty much identical. So we'll just go with the, the latest one that it's chosen then. So all you need to do then is copy it and paste it into your design package. I'm using Inkscape here. So we treat it like any clip art sort of image and we go ahead and we trace bitmap that image. So you see I've already got the tab open so we just update it and you can see it there. Press um, apply once you're happy with the settings in the windows and then you have your bitmap. So you delete the other image that we don't need because that's just a JPEG. And now that we've got that, what we can do um, is I'm going to put a border around it so I've got a backing board for the the pattern to sit in front of it. So we just go to path and then down to link to offset. And once you've got that, you drag out the wee node up the top here. Uh, once you select it properly, that is. And just until you're happy with it. Um, so it automatically fills that, so you need to go ahead and remove the fill and make sure you've got a line section, um, a line stroke path turned on, sorry. Once you've got that you can see there's little um, sections in within the drawing, so we need to get rid of them. So what we need to do is convert that um, path to a, uh, that stroke to a path, and once we've done that, um, break it apart so that the all the wee paths that are in within the image are separate to the actual image you've got. So once I've done that, what I do is I go back into the nodes tool and select the main deer itself and just the outer line. You can see that's what I'm doing here. So once you've done them, you can just uh, cut them. So Control and X or cut, that's your nice wee shortcut. And then you select all the bits and pieces that are left behind and just delete them because you no longer need them. Now that I've got that, we're pretty much ready to go. We just need to separate it and I'm going to flip it upside down once I've resized it. So I'm resizing it to 550mm in height. That means it's just shy of the total width, of the, uh, the depth of the board that I'm going to cut it on. Um, and then we can get it flipped around to save some space on the the board, save material and then we've got more material for the next project. So now I just paste in a light burn and select the uh, mat material from the material library. I've already got 6mm MDF saved. I've got a few different options for cutting but they're all the same sort of power. Um, so yeah, we just select that and then assign it to the job that we need. And then we can get on with cutting it. Um, cutting's dead simple on the Aeon laser that I've got. It cuts 6 mil no problem at all as you can see here. It's nice and clean and the parts just fall out the bottom. Um, I've got the lid open here. I don't recommend anybody doing that. I've just done it for filming purposes in this video. Um, it is there to protect you and others if they may be in the area from stray ray, uh, laser beams. 
So once it's cut out then, you'll see the pieces just really fall out dead easy. It's nice and simple. And as if by magic it comes out. Some pieces are still stuck in and they require a little bit of coaxing out, but it's dead easy once you've done. So I've centered it up on the board. It's not glued at the moment, but yeah. So you could use these things for many things. And I did these using the same prompt as before in chat GTV chat GPT. So you can see it's taken the car and it's done a really good cool wire mesh sort of drawing and the same with the dog. So there's loads of possibilities with this. Um you could really, really go out there and start doing custom uh designs for customers, uh taking their images and creating them into these wireframe designs. It's quite a cool wee idea. Um, I hope this video has really been of some assistance to you and if you've tried it and you've done well and you like what you've got please do tag me on my socials let me see what you're making it'd be awesome so for this video that's pretty much it guys uh, if you've liked it you found it helpful please do like and subscribe it really does help the channel grow um, and more people learn these little tips and tricks anyway thank you bye